animals we're not the real characters <laughs> so i guess it's fun oh uh, i'm just here to let you know that we're gonna have a mickey and friends series which is a group of stories that dj and manny will read they're short stories some of them are fun some of them are silly oh who am i kidding they're all fun and silly right guys yeah. yes of course. all right let's not waste any time uh who's ready to read some stories me, 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 I'm I'm ready. Ready. How about you kids? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's call Teacher Amani. Teacher Amani! We've already started the video, so you better hurry up! I hope she's not mad at us. Today's book is called A Perfect Picnic. Now let's begin. And when we begin something, we say, Bismillah. A perfect picnic. It was a beautiful spring day. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and Mickey Mouse was planning a picnic. Suddenly, Mickey had an idea. I should invite our friends to join us, he told Pluto. Mickey picked up the phone and called Minnie. Hey, Minnie, how would you like to join me and Pluto for a picnic in the park? Minnie agreed to join Mickey and went to pack her picnic basket. Meanwhile, Mickey called the rest of his friends and invited them to come too. Oh, Pluto, Mickey said as he packed Pluto's frisbee. This will be so much fun. We can all enjoy the sunshine together and share our favorite foods. Over at Minnie's house, things were not going so well. Minnie had packed all of her favorite foods, a peanut butter sandwich, lemonade, and an apple. But as she got ready to leave, she started to wonder, hmm, she started to wonder if she would like the lunches that her, her friends had packed. I don't want to share my lunch, she thought. I want to eat it myself. Donald, Daisy, and Goofy felt the same way. They had all packed their favorite foods. But what if they didn't like what their friends had packed? Maybe it was better not to share lunches after all. Hmm. Mickey didn't know that his friends had changed their mind. Excited about their picnic, he filled his wagon and began to walk toward the park. When he got there, he found his friends waiting for him. They all had baskets of food, but uh, they did not look very happy. What's wrong? Mickey asked his friends. I don't want to share my lunch, Donald said. What if I don't like the lunch I get? Asked Minnie. Daisy and Goofy agreed. Everyone wanted to eat their own favorite foods. Oh, Mickey said, disappointed. I guess we don't have to share. Minnie looked at Mickey. He looked so sad. She didn't want to be the reason he was upset. So she handed him her picnic basket. It's okay, Mickey. I'll trade lunches with you. I'm sure I'll like whatever you packed. Mickey's friends saw how happy Minnie had made Mickey. They wanted to make Mickey happy too. Will someone trade lunches with me? Donald asked, holding out his basket. Daisy took Donald's lunch, then she handed her basket to Goofy, and he gave his basket to Donald. Mickey laid out a blanket and the friends got to work setting up their picnic. Minnie passed out plates, Goofy handed out napkins, Daisy gave everyone a cup, and Donald set out forks. Finally, it was time to eat. Mickey opened his picnic basket first. When he saw what was inside, he started to laugh. <laughs> What's so funny, Mickey? Minnie asked, and she looked in her basket and started to laugh too. Oh <laughs> Everyone had packed lemonade and peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> the only difference in the baskets was the fruit. 
Daisy had grapes, Minnie had an orange, Goofy had a banana, Mickey had an apple, and Donald had a pineapple. Isn't there some way we can share our fruit? asked Minnie. I have an idea, said Mickey. Leave it to me. While his friends ate their sandwiches and drank their lemonade, Mickey cut up the fruit. He put it all in a bowl and mixed it together. Then he brought the bowl back over to the blanket. He had made a big fruit salad. What a great idea, Minnie said as Mickey passed out the fruit salad. Now we can all try each other's favorite fruits, Daisy added. Donald nodded. Thanks for inviting us, Mickey, he said. As Mickey's friends settled down the, to enjoy the rest of their picnic, they realized that Mickey had been right. Sharing was fun after all. The end. Did you guys also think this was a silly story? I did too. All right, until the next Mickey and Friends story, I will say to you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.